five pounds. I can remember a couple of years ago, he had to eat a lot of bananas and drink a lot of water just to get up to 150. Well, if you watch him when he hits, he really coils the body. Sometimes people say he's going to hurt his arm, but you get tricked. If you don't watch him carefully, you don't realize that he turns his upper body more than the conventional player. We'd like to welcome all of the viewers watching the First Bank Tennis Tournament. Tommy Sellis versus Mary Jo Fernandez. Sellis won that match. 6-4, 6-4. So we welcome you all to the Great Western Forum here in the middle of April as we hope you enjoy McEnroe and Agassi as they prepare to battle it out tonight. McEnroe was born in Wiesbaden, Germany when his father was in the Air Force, now resides in Malibu. And he just turned 34 on the 16th of February. Well, 34 and getting better all the time. I watched him in some of the warm-ups, and the guy can just nail that thing. He does so many things to the ball that people know, don't normally see. When you start to coach, he's a hard guy to coach because he's got shots that you don't normally see in tennis. He knows the value of the strings. He'll just stick the racket out. He's one of the few guys, I've got a new book coming out, and he's one of the few guys that I mentioned that can take a half volley at his feet and put the ball away. McEnroe and Agassi have played one another in tournament competition four times. They're even, so how do you rate this match? Well, I don't know if I'm going to be right or not, but I've been awfully lucky for about three years now. To the forehand goes Agassi. To the backhand goes Agassi. On the serve, I call it even. On the return, I call it even. Foot speed goes to Agassi. Net play goes to McEnroe. And intangibles, here it is, folks, McEnroe. Meaning 12 more years of experience, perhaps. You bet. And also, the kind of guy that can be way down but come back and win. Okay, we're getting ready to start it off here at the Great Western Forum. McEnroe, Agassi, one more time. Supporting the fight against arthritis is as easy as picking up the phone. Unless, of course, you have arthritis. Please call. Your help can make a difference. Finer than our German knives? Yes, even finer than our own classic Ginsu. The high carbon stainless steel blade has incredible strength. Even with abuse like this, it still never needs sharpening. Nothing cuts it like the Ginsu World Class. It's as simple as that. Even with its unique triple ground curved blade, it's yours for only $29.95. Complete with its double guarantee. Plus, these steak knives and accessory knives free. Order yours now. For rush delivery, call 1-800-533-1400. That's 1-800-533-1400 to order your set of Ginsu World Class. Call now, 1-800-533-1400. The Tigers and Passports, a 10-year winning tradition. A whole lot of fun. A brand new... ...their practice serves, and in just a few seconds, we'll get this win underway. Our chair umpire tonight is John Bramlett from San Berdu, San Bernardino, California. John's been a tennis official of the Southern California area and throughout the nation, as a matter of fact, for oh, about a decade now. This will kind of give you a little shock, especially those not earning uh, that amount of money. Yvonne Lindell is the career leader. Now, this is just in tournament play. The exhibitions... The uh, commercial endorsements, all of that is separate. But uh, in tournament play, Lindell with better than 19 mil, Edberg 13 and a half, then Becker with 12.2, and John McEnroe has dropped a fourth at 12.2 million. And number nine, Agassi, 5.4 million. So he can afford that, Jeff. <laughs> and he says he loves it because he can get to and from very fast. He doesn't have to stop at airports and have everybody beg him for his shirts and things. By the way, as you watch him serve there, he is getting much more power. Last year, he uncorked to serve at 110 miles per hour. Major. I guess the best serve so far this year was about, what, 124? I saw that in uh, one of the releases the other day in the tournament. I think it's Rosette. The uh, players now are coming very close to 130. Keep in mind, though, that Roscoe Tanner cranked one in at 134. There you see some head-to-heads. First meeting, McEnroe the winner. 
Agassi is a lot older than just 22, but it's because he's been on the circuit for six years and he gets so much publicity, so much play from the media. Well, that happened with Rose Wall and, and uh, the Aussies and Labor and those guys started on the tour when they were 15, 16, did not go to high school, and they've been playing tennis for many, many years, and people said when they're going to retire, they're still in their 20s. And Agassi will be the first one to tell you that John McEnroe helped him immeasurably last year to win the famed Wimbledon Championship. Back and row to start the service. And it was Agassi who beat Mac and row in the semifinals. nuances of playing at Wimbledon. That helped him a great deal. If you watch John do his favorite stuff, watch him on his footwork, and you'll see that one foot behind the other. Now, he did that originally because he had a bad back, and he was trying to get out of having that bad back problem. Oh. We've had two points and two questionable stares by Mr. McEnroe. Well, I think the crowd's trying to get back for seven now to see if they can jerk him into a little emotional thing. Won't take much, will it? Max's pretty tough on himself. Always has been. Called an intrapunit. It's a great slice, sir. Something you don't see. Most of the people on the pro tour cranking some pretty big ones. But Matt knows how to do a change up. He knows how to throw a slice. Just when you sit on your heels, he'll throw a change up. He extends that back so much on his service motion. I would think he would be beset by all sorts of back problems. David Wheaton always talks about it. If you don't put that volley away, which is a miss hit, I guess he'll come over and pass you. But the shot was wide, so it's 40-15. Oh. That can't get his rhythm. Not missing by much. You come back after that, you still have to crank up that second one. You can't float it. The guy on the other side will pick that up and attack it. in the first game. This is a best of three set affair. The Forum Tennis Challenge.
It's a silver time, time. It's a silver place. It's a silver setting at a silver pace. Swing it far. Our very best friends. So silver for let's go. They never ever end. In a silver time. Good light. In a silver place. So right here now. What's exciting about the business, even though we've been in it now 30 years, we're still learning every day. We've made every mistake twice at least. <laughs> we're always experimenting with new shapes and new forms, but I think that's part of the learning curve. I think that's part of the lesson of life and certainly the lesson of retail. And I think that just the very fact that people can use their American Express card ends up creating a, an additional sale for the store. American Express is welcome to Crate and Barrel and plenty of places they pack them in. If I buy an affordable sedan like Sentra, I expect a few necessities. How about over 35 standard features? And I expect a few luxuries. Air conditioning, cruise control, AM, FM cassette. Of course, I expect it to be fun to drive. Would 110 horsepower help? Hey, with that much car, what more could I expect? How about a $169 a month lease? And just $169 down? Now that I didn't expect. Nissan, it's time to expect more from a car. Agassi serving. Long 15. Double fault right off the bat. Boom, just like that. I think it takes a while for all of the players to get adjusted to the lights here. 15 off. Well, when you play in five different cities, different altitudes, different conditions, this is the fifth night. Or six, I think. Michael, and it's uh, got to make some adjustments. He said the fans in Mexico City gave them such an ovation. Mexicans really love their tennis. attended a session on the speed of the game about a year ago in Florida with the Association of Tennis Professionals. They were very concerned. They said now every player just hits the ball so hard. But if you watch McEnroe, he just counter punches. That's all he does, blocks balls. And then he'll topspin suddenly out of nowhere. But I think the people are wrong. It isn't just a slugfest. McEnroe is still out there. That for a cross-court drive, huh? It wasn't that McEnroe off. got passed, but if you take a look at it here, it's how fast. Now look at the reactions McEnroe gets. Very little. He can hardly move. It's going so fast. There's where weight training pays off. If you're off balance, you can do a lot if you're strong. Strength helps you more when you're off balance. That's where strength has played an important role in Agassiz's success last year. <laughs> Agassiz has a fitness coach, Bill Reyes. A friend of his from UNLV. And he helped Agassiz put on the weight, but it's not putting on the weight so much as it's putting on muscle on a body that's still developing. Yeah, take that. <laughs> you think he still has a few fans around here? Still has some shots, too. What's this shot he holds so long before he commits? I guess he had no choice. Take a guess. He took the guess. He's holding two. <laughs> Got a little pixie smile. Here. Oh, for five on first serves in the first game. That's a great stat that Patrick Cooper passed along to us. Oh, 15. 
McEnroe was number one in the world four straight years, 1981, 82, 83, and 84. Here I thought Andre was going to get the shot. He didn't quite get it. There's two strokes that have a very low percentage of it. That's an offensive lob, which he just lost, and a drop shot, which McEnroe played, which McEnroe lost. So the dads hold up. Oh, oh, come on! going to be too much more of this. That's Peter Nee who made the out call and Mac is upset. Well, the new courts are going to have electronic lines in them, so all of this stuff will soon end. Are you glad of that? Uh, well, in a way I am now because the money is getting so big that you hate to see a person uh, lose on the disputed call. Throw the serve in with a little sauce, mackle it up a little. You do that to Andre, you only salute it. What a shot! Watch it again. Watch him coil the body. Boy, he makes a fast acceleration with his arms. That's hard to do. Most people play two hands. You can't make the racket accelerate much. Left first. You talk about the power in the game today, and I think those new lightweight rackets make a vast difference. Some rackets are on the market today that are under 10 ounces, nine and a half. Fall. Uh oh, look out! I think you're going to hear a little bit here. It sounded like a late call to me. I guess he's calling a let, or is he calling a fault? No, McEnroe's saying, hey, how about you guys call the match? See, the crowd loves it. I guess this is why they love it. Natalie on the line, this is clearly out. You're doing a terrific job screwing everything up. Now keep up the shit. right back to do the same thing. It's 2-1 McEnroe. This is the first set of the tournament here, the Forum Tennis Challenge from the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California. Well, story came out this week that perhaps Andre Agassi would get a new coach, none other than John McEnroe. So we put the question to both. And McEnroe, what can he do to improve Andre Agassi's tennis game? Well, he has a, obviously an incredible amount of talent, so hopefully I can just kick it up one level so that he could possibly be the, the best player in the world instead of one of the best. Now, I know John helped you win Wimbledon last year. What more can he coach you? How can he improve your game? Uh, you know, he's been there, and he's, uh, uh, in my opinion, the best player that's ever played, and that's uh, that's 
that's something it's in itself that's going to really hopefully rub off on me and uh, his ability is as a coach is remains to be seen but from what he's done so far I have no doubt that he's going to add a big uh, a big piece to the puzzle and as Agassi has said in his estimation Agassi's estimation McEnroe is the greatest player to ever play the game and of course they're good friends and they even team up and play doubles from time to time you know, that is an amazing statement the greatest who's ever played the game coming from Andre that's a real compliment real compliment. been some pretty big time goals oh, yeah but Hi. 15 love the labor board two time grand slam winner <laughs> labor oh that I wonder how he feels when he hears that isn't it funny when you saw yeah. McEnroe with that hat on mm -hmm. and the jacket and if you saw him on the street, you'd ask him to paint your house. And he says, hey, you know, you wear the hat like that, you know, my house will get a little rusty. Oh. I doubt that he owns a lot of houses. He can hire a lot of painters. It's cute, comfort. Somebody's calling the ball now. I don't know who made the call. The one came from the stands, but I did see the lines person put the hand on. Here he goes. Close. Forty left. Anticipation. Agassi was in the Two right off. spot at the right time. McEnroe concealed the shot, so Mac had to play. He didn't have to rush that when he thought he had the court wide open. Now watch Agassi. He'll take the guess. He says, okay, I hit the shot. It's not a good one, but I'm going to guess. There he goes. He guesses right. Makes an easy play. And we are two all in the first set. I think Mac thought the serve was out, and it is. They have called it out. Mac checking the house. Does that so well and effortlessly. But he understands that you don't have to have much movement with the racket. Now watch his racket. He positions it and leaves it there. He doesn't throw it all over the place. This is favorite shot. 30 love. not playing any of the majors so far although I still think he might decide to give it one more shot in September at the US Open oh, since he's from New York City all the living out here in Malibu California now but there's something about the lure of the US Open that brings the juices flowing in back and forth and uh, Jimmy Connors well, most of the players who have retired have come back. Gonzalez came back three times, if I remember. Oh. is still trying to get it. Game, McEnroe. McEnroe takes a 3-2 lead. lead here in the first set over Andre Agassi.
From the achy breaky to the tush push, country line dancing is sweeping across America like an Oklahoma dust storm. And now you can learn America's most popular new dances right in your own home with this great new video from Quality. Meet Diane Horner. Diane's unique teaching method will have you country line dancing in minutes. It's easy and fast. In no time at all, you'll be doing the electric slide, slap leather, honky tonk stomp, tush push, and of course, the achy breaky. We start with simple individual dance steps and patterns at a slow beginner's beat. Then put them all together into the full dance. Finally, we show you the complete line dance, repeating the patterns over and over so you can practice right along with us. Order now and we'll send you a second hot country video, country partner dancing, absolutely free. Here's how to order. Call 1-800-253-8005. Order today and receive country line dancing and country partner dancing. Two videos for $19.95 plus $4 shipping. Call now or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Back and row. Up 3-2 in this first set. Well, what's the double back now? Matt gets him going in one direction. Does yes, that so beautifully? I can see which way am I going to go? A lot of Yeah, that goes. In one of the exhibitions this past week, I don't know. Columbus, Ohio, or Seattle, but McEnroe did an imitation of Agassiz. 15 off. McEnroe took off his shirt, threw it to the crowd, and then fake taking off his tennis shorts. It bothers sometimes in the big tournaments. Those who used to be the blue. 30 15. It bothered Agassiz. So did Linda. Players will tell you they understand it, but it drives them wacky. Well, look at this. Throwing that thing in there. Throwing back his kid. This is going back his kid. 40 15. And he hit it long. Still read the shot elegantly. Mac is such a great anticipator. And if you anticipate well, you pick up a step or two. If you really can move at the net before the player strikes the ball, you can get almost three steps, which which you cover the entire court. Game. Okay. Agassi. Now we're tied. Three all. First set. Three all. Is interesting in research when you're trying to find out what the great anticipators are looking at. What data do they use to encode to the brain to say it's going to go this way? We'll talk more about that project in a second. That serve looked wide to me, and I guess it looked wide to Mac. I guess he just throws up his hands. You can sit there and tell me with a straight face that ball was out. God damn it, you're full of crap. You know that? Chair umpire John Bramley. Well, we still have to go back to all the projects we did where the player wasn't as good. Calling as the line. Long 15. And we had objective data there. We actually filmed a thousand frames a second. We actually found how many times we framed the ball on the court. We had a line to draw the 16 feet into the part. The part. The line people were more effective, more accurate than the post. There goes a tennis ball up into the mezzanine here at the Great Western Club. The last time McEnroe and Agassiz had a match here at the Forum, it was in September. I think he threw, McEnroe threw his racket something like 11 times, whoever was keeping stats on racket throws. Oh, 30.
but let's face it, some of the people come out here just to see that. Left. Meanwhile, the tennis purists are poor. Well, from my side, Michael, it's in, in a big tournament when you do that, then there's also the opponent on the other side. Now, what, what right do you have? What does it do to the other person? If it does nothing to them, that's one thing. But if it bothers them, it's another thing. And the rules are quite clear. 15-30. He was late getting over on that serve. Mack threw it in there very nicely. It's an interesting thing about McEnroe. There are only two players I've ever seen who could do this. Pancho Gonzalez and John McEnroe. When they have a little bit of a tantrum, they come back and play better. Most people play worse. Ah. Don't you think Potter's played better too? A little bit, although it hasn't always worked for Jimmy, but he pumped himself up the same way. But at the... Connors used the crowd more. McEnroe, I think, and Gonzalez did it for themselves. Five feet above the playing surface. Oh. And if the ball on a lob ever hits the scoreboard, then the lobber loses. The lobby loses the point to his opponent. Oh. Deuce. Up to deuce. When the players play indoor tournaments. They very seldom have that scoreboard down the center, and they usually need a minimum clearance of about 38 feet. This one's a little low, but the players, like McEnroe, who've played in the form a lot, learn how to use that. They hit on the side. We even had players practice hitting it over the scoreboard to see if they could do it once or twice. It has never worked, not that I've seen. set and the ad belongs to John McEnroe
first ace for Mac, and what a time for it. That ace gives him the game and a 4-3 first set lead over Andre Agassi. There are two ways to put a movie theater in your home. You could build one. Or you could simply buy the giant 35-inch RCA home theater with SRS sound. It's the easiest way to get a movie theater in your home. Come see all the RCA home entertainment products at all ABC Warehouse locations. With tens of thousands of hours of sports on television, how do you find the games you want to see? Newspapers and guides combined will only show about half of what's really on. Don't ever miss a great matchup again. Call 1-800-253-8005 and order The Sportscaster, the only complete guide to all televised sports, with listings and schedules for over 40 channels with sports. Call now and you'll get 12 months for only $29.95, nearly half off the cover price. That's 1-800-253-8005, The Sportscaster. Are the Red Wings unstoppable? Will the Tigers fool all the experts? Can the Lions strike gold in the draft? Sports Final Edition, Sunday night at 11.30, only on WDIV-TV, Channel 4, Detroit. Seats, please. Thank you. Some of the fans are still coming into the Great Western Forum, and that's the reason for this bit of a delay. Also, we have new balls in the play after seven games of the first set. First serve. Agassi is currently ranked number seven in the world. His highest ranking ever, number three, November 88. 15 ball. <laughs> the ball went about 80 and his grunt went 130. Not very good first serve percentages. Actually, neither player has served well. It's sporadic. Thirty long. Even Agassi's going to join in. Now we're the foot inside the line. That was literally, literally a foot inside the line. Literally. Oh, well, wait, you couldn't see it, though. <laughs> you haven't seen one mistake in this match. There's been eight. Was hopeless facial expressions. There. Hey, what can I do? Said, Bramlett said, "Replay the point." Well, if, if Agassi is saying, "Hey, yes, it's a bad call," you can only do this in this type of a match. You certainly cannot do it in the official turn. I saw him do it once at Indian Wells, and I think you were with me. He was playing the Yannick Noah, and the point went to Noah. Agassi said, my shot, he went up to the PA mic, grabbed it, he said, I think you agree with me, my shot was wide, the point belongs to Noah, Noah won that point, the game, and went on to win the match. That was the poor call by the 15 off. The players, if they're going to umpire the game and also play the game, it's a pretty tough position. Can you just see somebody from the Dodgers and the Angels go, no, no, no way, it was a strike, it was a strike. Steve, I have a, a brouhaha on every point. <laughs> I've not seen this many disputed calls this early in the evening or in the daytime, ever. I think. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> this is great. I couldn't see it. I missed it. Fifteen. Fifteen thirty. In the new electronic line calling last year during our nationals, I think
think there were 58 calls that were questioned by players. It turns out that the machine was more accurate than anyone, but the players did challenge certain calls. Smart play by 1540. Well, look, we get the electronic system universally. Who will Mac argue with? I mean, it's tough to argue with a machine. I, I remember when Ely Anastasi, the first one, he got in front of the little box. He said, you're the most stupid little box I've ever seen. There was nobody else to yell at. It seemed so silly. It's right, his nose is right up against the box. Sounds like this box of Game, okay, McEnroe leads five games to three. Five three lead, there's George Mitchell, one of the veteran tennis officials in the Southern California area. A lot of officials do not like to work a McEnroe match because they know it's going to put a lot of pressure on them. And intimidation is the name of the game, too. He can, he will. When we were doing our study on lines people, and they were yelled at, it wasn't that what happened when they were yelled at. It's the fact that blood pressure, other physiological factors stayed high, stayed irregular, long after the call. That's some serve, I'll tell you. What a kick it had. 15 low. serving well, but still exciting points. But when the big tournament comes, we have to play the front points. Well, Mac won't be at the French Open this year. He's always enjoyed playing over in Paris, France. But as he admits, he says, I'm winding it down this year. He said, the older I get, the better I used to be. this first set. It's a 5-4 back and row advantage over Agassi. Well, when I say that this match is not so good for Agassi from one standpoint, you've got to really work hard and you've got to be able to keep the ball in play. We find that if your average gets up about one ball, if your average is three, you get it to four, you start beating a lot of players. But if you notice, they're not averaging three points. Now, I got to tell you, in a crazy thing, was when Agassi played Anacone, actual playing time, two sets, 4.95 minutes. Anyway, there's some interesting things going on in the background with Andre. Andre and his white hat. Remember when he started on the circuit some six years ago, way down there, and he played up in Stowe, Vermont. Shocked the world. Came close to beating Lindell, and Lindell was at the peak of his career at that time. 
Agassi trying to hold serve here to knock this first set at five. 15 long. I don't normally see. We did studies on reaction time on individuals getting into their mid 30s. And when they get into about 36, 37, they seem to lose about one step. of the show, 40 full miles. swing on the volley, and he gets in, his ball is raised, and here it comes, the bolo whip. Mac was there. Watch that shot. Mac was there, he anticipated well, but just too much speed. Game magazine, five ball. That ball had a nice little tail on it, just ran away. Five, first set. But he hit it from back at 39 feet. And still, at 78 feet, was able to put the ball away. Very few players in the history of the game have been able to put clean winners away from the baseline. I'm Mike Walden, along with Vic Brayton. This is the Great Western Tennis Forum Challenge. Back and roll, I guess. 15 long. you know, uh, we have a uh, friend that we've talked about a lot of times on this particular show. And she's been such a great pal to all of us. And if you take a look, as Maurice Chevalier says, thank goodness for little girls. Start guessing. If you already know who this girl is, you're way up front. There she is at about 10 or 7. This is her first tournament. She lost in this tournament to a little girl named Kramer. But she said, I'll be back. And at that time, she had a 200 forehand. She did come back. And she came back today with a new husband. Here's our own Tracy Austin, married now to Scott Holt. This was taking place this afternoon. They're at dinner right now on the wedding party. Our cameraman, Paul Bobier, took the shot. And there are a lot of the family members in the, the official party. But she was radiant, as was Scott. What a beautiful couple and we offer our congratulations to Tracy and Scott Tracy Austin Holt she's going to keep the name Tracy Austin for events and then when she's just with her husband she likes to be Mrs. Holt but it, for most of the professional things she'll be Tracy and Austin 
Did Tracy tell you when she will next enter a tournament? No, she didn't say that. Uh, but I tell you, she was having so much fun. She was so elegant. And it was a beautiful way to challenge her. Well, she's got a couple of matches down at the uh, women's tournament at uh, Charlie Passarell's place, Indian Wells. My grand champions. Well, 15. Tracy, 30 years old, it's, it's tough to come back. Well, I took that film of her as a little girl. And she's hitting against the backboard. It's the first film I was taking of her. She said she can't remember herself playing until she's about seven. Six or seven. I think she was about three. Fifteen on. Saw Anastasi do that once. He almost knocked himself out. <laughs> Especially if you don't hit it with the strings, you hit it with the side of the racket. That's smart. Oh. Oh. 30 15. The crowd kind of quiet right now. They started out and they wanted to see some fireworks. Settle back now. But don't you think, Mike, it's a little bit loose? The points are loose. And yes. The crowd's a little confused because no one can put on a string. They can't put it away. They can't do what they want to do. Well, 30 off. That type of shot is not a big time tournament shot. Max says, you better get going, kid, if I'm your coach. <laughs> get that kind of shot, I'll be on your rear end all the whole match. I asked both if the deal had been consummated, where McEnroe would serve as Agassiz's coach. They both said, no, still some things to be ironed out, negotiations, whatever. 30, 40. It would appear to be, if not already resolved, close to being resolved. Well, I wonder where Nick Bonateri was in that. He's done so much for Agassi and McEnroe knows that. And I'm sure he'll honor that relationship. Andre was so great to give credit to Nick and all the things Nick has done for him following the Wimbledon Championship. Big point for Mac in this to say. Good serve tossed in by Agassi. Cheers. Leading 6 5 in this set. Agassi trying to send it into a tie break. Had the play, just overran it. shot that angle deflects you gotta really nail it you can't punch it more like he was trying to guide it rather than follow through you cannot guide a cross court down the line ball steps off the right game magazine six all tiebreak McEnroe had a 5-3 lead now we go into the tiebreak
forehand by Agassi. It's a very short swing, too. He shortened it right at about Wimbledon time. Good. What she said, McEnroe helped him. Courier swing is one of the shortest swings. Hits the hardest. And very often people say that the second time shorten it, hit harder. Two, one. Agassi. We're here at the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California. The Forum Tennis Challenge. Andre Agassi and John McEnroe. First set. We're in the tiebreak. First set has taken almost an hour. to get a reading on the speed. By the way, there's a new formula I have to show on video, which is 30 frames per second. And if the person's near the baseline, you can actually do calculations on the ball speed. Three off. <laughs> How about an eye for an eye? Whatever you can do, I can do better. You get a feeling all of a sudden one of them wants this. Mm -hmm. No rest, six points. James goes straight to your corner. Aces are even. Six inches higher than the net from the baseline. Hit it on a horizontal plane. You have to hit the ball between 175 and 212 miles per hour. Six for Agassi. One more point. All Agassi needs. Polish off the first set. Oh. 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 
going for it. You knew what was coming, didn't you? Set. Seven six goes to Andre Agassi over John McEnroe. Discover the hidden secrets of America's finest One, baseball school two, in a professional three, instructional videotape. Two, Teaching the three. mechanics of the major league swing yeah, features position. professional scout and instructor right. Tommy Mansky and, and the same award-winning tested under fire techniques that have produced baseball world's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back AAU national championship teams. Coach Mansky's study and analysis of thousands of baseball's best professional swings has yielded a no less than revolutionary approach to consistent One. hitting. It's yeah. proven that you'll love its easy-to-understand step-by-step video training method. Just ask Baltimore's Glenn Davis. This is the hitting video that gets results. Teaching the mechanics of the Major League Swing benefits players of all ages and ability levels. A valuable addition to any coach's library, and it makes a great gift. Thousands have been sold at $39.95, but if you'll call now and use your credit card, you'll pay only $29.95. Call 1-800-253-8005 for teaching the mechanics of the Major League Swing. The tape that gets results. It really worked for me. 1968, there was baseball magic in Motown as the Tigers took on the world and conquered it. 1984, the Tigers returned to the top of the world and past sports signed on the air with extensive coverage of the world champion team. 1993 will be another season to remember as Pass kicks off its 10th season of Tiger telecasts. And in the broadcast booth, Pass reunites two 68 teammates, Jim Northup and Jim Price. They'll be on hand for 70 live games throughout the summer of 93. The Tigers and Pass Sports, 70 games strong. Just watch us all season long. McEnroe still contemplating things that seat, might have happened. Get a 5-3 first set lead, couldn't hold, and Agassi came on to win it 7-6. A 7-4 score of the tiebreaker decided. to air ratio is going to take a beating in this match. Experience, luxury, and performance. Test drive and Acura. Remember Agassi falling to the grass, weeping openly after winning Wimbledon. And he used to say he, would, he wouldn't play Wimbledon for a long time because he just didn't like the grass surface. In fact, the first year he played at Wimbledon, he lost in the first round. Well, he returned serve so well on these stats you'll see that the serve at 42 percent for McEnroe has been sporadic the 42 percent is not when he wanted all of the shots either unforced airs I think we're being kind tonight this is 
one of the beekline nights. And there's where strength is so valuable. Agassi was out of court, reaching. There's where a lot of injuries take place. But if you have strength, you protect those muscles, protect the bones, tendons, ligaments, for off balance. Well, if McEnroe comes back to play and he coaches Agassi, and they get into a big tournament and get into the semifinals. It'll be one of the few tournaments where your student plays the coach. Now what? No, 40. Every man for himself. Well, if he keeps hitting that last shot the way he did, coaching will be a field. Interested that Mac really wants to stay in this game. He's announced his interest to be involved with the Davis Cup. Interest in being a coach? It's a typical kind of approach for great champions. You ask, now that you're not playing in tournaments, what do you do? And they say, I go watch tournaments. They stay around the game a long time. Well, they should. Game Magazine, two long. Not only did he break McEnroe, broke him in love. I think if you watch Mac, keep your eye on Mac though, right now. Watch, he only gives a slight wiggle. And that's all it took. The ball was going by him so fast. Ooh, he pounds it. Early this week, uh, McEnroe took some shots at Tom Gorman. Of course, McEnroe openly admits he'd like to have that Davis Cup job as coach of the U.S. team. where it's going to come back to haunt Mac now. People who think that the Davis Cup stands for, you know, your country and, and proper behavior and things on the court. Mac feels that his tennis should speak for itself and the behavior should not be counted. But that's not how most people feel the Davis Cup. So I'd say that if he becomes the captain of the Davis Cup, he's got a big uphill battle. I asked him tonight if there was anything new about his captaincy of the Davis Cup team, and he said, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine. Nine winners to five for McEnroe, and 5-0 for Agassi in the second. Yeah, yeah, he wants to take another look at that. Agassi is looking up at the big screen on the scoreboard. I, I think his quickness, Agassi's quickness is sometimes underrated. It is, but I think tonight he's been quite slow. But when he wants to move, he can move. And he read that shot. Oh, yeah, that was really And we're only in the third game. Well, what do you see that's noticeably, noticeably absent in McEnroe's game? The fire. What else? He hasn't come to the net. Hardly at all. That's his game. Now, if he 
you stay back for it. In computer tennis, they have a form of it's an aggression. Game Agassi, three left. Ball change. Agassi rolling right along here in the second set after winning the first 7-6. Motor City, get ready for a special night of boxing. Coming April 27th at 8 p.m. Budweiser Fight Night in the Palace. Presented by Metro 25. And a special appearance for Michigan boxing fans. The 10 round main event. Former world champion and undefeated heavyweight Michael Moore. Toe to toe takes on Kamel Odom. Plus. In the second feature bout. Former world champ Tony Tubbs takes on the very tough Melton Bowen. It's another 10 round slugfest. Special appearance by Metro 25's Miss Grand Prix. And it's first edition of the new Metro 25 Ring Girl Contest. Tickets now. Brought to you by Budweiser. Nothing beats a bud. Get into the swing this spring on Pass Sports. It's the 10th season of Tiger Baseball on Pass. Look for 70 live games with beefed up pitching and the return of the league's biggest lineup. The Pistons hold court with the NBA's finest, looking to regain respect down the season's home stretch. Then look to pass for professional tennis featuring the top names of the game. Auto racing returns with our outstanding lineup of fast track shows. Pass features professional boxing, arena football with the Detroit Drive, and Pro Beach Volleyball. Get into the swing this spring with Pass Sports. Just watch. Watch us. Now I lay me down to sleep. Many children throughout our community are praying for something different this winter. They're praying for their moms and dads, hoping they can find a new job, a cozy place to live, or a warm coat to wear. Amen. You can help the Salvation Army answer some very special prayers. Check the People Care box on your next heating bill. Jimmy Connors won 109 career titles. Lindell is second. McEnroe was third with 77. But McEnroe also has 77 doubles titles to his credit. A lot of those with Peter Fleming. All-around player. Great volley. Under pressure. Good hands. Doesn't have excessive movements at the net. Real doubles genius. Ball 15. In fact, McEnroe won a title at Wimbledon last year. A lot of people don't remember. Won the men, uh, men's doubles title with Michael Steech. Won the NCAA singles championship his freshman year at Stanford for Dick Gould. Dick's still up there turning out title winners. That's a great McEnroe serve. Can really stretch you out. Remember that uh, doubles championship he and uh, McEnroe and Steech won uh, last year? Beat Grab and uh, Rennenberg. That fifth set went 19-17. There's the great hands of Mac. Such a tough shot for the average person because they have a lot of racket hit play. Mac just puts the racket where he wants it, points, and lets the ball rebound. I want you to watch McEnroe serve because coaches always teach the palm down, keep the palm down. McEnroe starts with the palm up. And people always use that as an example. They say, look, I watch the shows. He doesn't do what you say, but watch when he gets right here, right here, there. He turns it back over again. But a lot of people don't see that movement. So they go out and try to copy Mac, but the movement is from the palm up and then right there he puts it back down. Well, it doesn't look like Max a very happy camper right now. He 
wants to get this game going. He wants to keep the ball in play. Push it around a little bit. He's having a hard time. needs this game. He's only a point away from getting it. 7-6 Agassi in the first. 3-love Agassi lead in the second. Second set. I guess he needs three games to one. in position to me than I've ever seen. Second set. The Toyota Celica GT Extra Value Package is so incredible you can't resist it. The Warboot Egret Coised. See? You can't resist popular features like cruise control, air conditioning, 
AM, FM, stereo cassette. And squeeze. Uh-huh. Couldn't stay away from power windows and door locks, could you? It's the most unbelievable. Came back for the savings, huh? Up to $800 on the 1993 Celica Extra Value Package. I love what you do for me. Agassi, Sampras, Connors, cooking on clay at the AT&T Challenge. Last year, Andre beat Pete in an All-American Final. <laughs> the world's best push the edge. The chalk, the talk, the walk. Not your typical players, not your typical game. It's tennis to the limit. The AT&T Challenge. Coverage begins Friday, April 30th on Prime. In tennis, you don't just play the opponent, you've got to play the ball. It's how you play the ball that determines whether your shot is in or out, whether the point is won or lost. Now, you can play the ball and win with this half-hour video by Tennis Magazine Instruction Editor Vic Braden. Free with a one-year subscription. Twelve issues of Tennis Magazine. Call 800-522-5333 for a full year of Tennis Magazine, plus this free video, just thirteen seventy seven. Call 800-522-5333 now. McEnroe serving. He's up 3-2 in the second. thing about Agassi and he's most proud of in addition to his Wimbledon championship and that is the fact that he's been in the top ten in the world five straight years 
That's outstanding. it low, but Agassi on the dead run flicks that for him, makes the hit, and smiles. Those are fun shots when you're out of the point and you win them. get any call that we wanted from anywhere in the stands. We could say, all right, if you're in this one, you're going to call that in. If you're here, you're going to call it in. That one was tattooed right on the line. Excedrin headache, number 47. So is he saying that Matt, that Agassi didn't hit it on the line, that it was out, or that he's so angry at himself because Agassi caught the line? What's your guess? My guess is over the call. set of circumstances. Page 355. Medications that can rob you of your sex life. 
Page 141. The secret ingredient in Italian foods that can help lower cholesterol. Page 545. How to silence a snorer. This incredible book belongs in every home. The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. From the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Book. Over 670 pages of astonishing home remedies, all scientifically proven. Yours free for three full weeks. Page 341. Why you should never buy color toilet paper. Now the information you need to cure over 130 common health problems is always on hand. Act now and you'll also get this fabulous book, Meals That Heal, free. Page 497. Use oatmeal to end the itch of poison ivy. Page 570. Call now to get the doctor's book of home remedies free for three weeks. Keep it and we'll bill you in four easy installments of only $6.99. Call 1-800-253-8005. The inside story starts here. From the crates of the cave to current controversies, nobody covers the big stories in the big leagues like Ed Randall's Talking Baseball. Join Ed Randall for Talking Baseball Monday nights at 10 on Pass. The chair umpire, John, but overruled a non fall downer. He called the shot out, and that gave the game to, back to Agassi, even though the ball was going back and forth. So Agassi... He's ready to go. McEnroe is going to take a seat. Agassi 7 6 in the first, and he leads 4 3 in the second. Time, let's play. McEnroe said, I was ready half a minute ago. player miss a call by three feet. Been a long night for John Grandma. <laughs> Are you getting? He's going to chess. This may be his last match. <laughs> ah, John's been around a long time. He'll be back. Good sir. What an imitation. Watch this. <laughs> well. He's right about wiping it off. A little sweat like that. He goes skidding on a shot. Career is over. And all he was involved in was a one-act play. Nice 
John's tired because this whole game is getting on top of that and making people play, so I haven't seen too much of that today. somebody that far out of court you still lose the point. Kick yourself. 14 winners to just three for McEnroe in this second set. Game Agassi. Agassi wins the game and takes a 5-3 lead. Agassi can now serve out the match. Agassi. 7-6 in the first. It was a 7-4 tie break. And now Andre is up 5-3. In the second set. Don Allen, the former tennis pro at Shadow Mountain and down in the desert. Up in our booth here saying hello to old friends. Don looks good. Agassi serving for the match. 15 more. Over 
John McEnroe. Back with more from the Great Western Forum. For years, the people of New England had a secret. A secret that guarded them from the harsh weather. A secret that protected their wooden vessels from the raging storms. And what they used to protect their wood, you can use to protect yours. Wood preservatives, stains, clears. Cooper and all, we promise the best. Deadly, powerful, merciless, predators of the wild. Time Life Video presents Predators of the Wild, the brand new video series that gives you a compelling look at how nature's most powerful hunters dominate the food chain. Uncensored footage reveals how they select their prey, stalk their victims, and move in for the kill. Call now and begin your collection by exploring Hunters and the Hunted for only $9.99. You'll confront nature's one chilling reality, kill or star. Keep Hunters and the Hunted and other tapes will follow about every other month. Each tape gives you an in-depth look at a different predator, how they create life, and how they take it away. Predators of the Wild explores the killer instinct. Call now to order Hunters and the Hunted for only $9.99 and see how the savage survive. To order Hunters and Hunted, call 1-800-253-8005 or set by 99 plus 323 shipping and handling to Predators Video Series, P.O. Box 4943, Department A, Omaha, Nebraska, 68104. It was Agassi 7-6 and 6-3 over John McEnroe here tonight at the Forum. And Andre Agassi, who will turn 23 on the 29th of April, is standing by with our Vic Brayton. Andre, we're looking now for you at the French Open. Now you're going through these series of exhibitions. How are these things going to help you or hurt you when you get into the French? Well, you know, I have two weeks off here, this week and, and, and the next week. And uh, two weeks of just practicing can sometimes be too much. You know, you want to keep that match play intensity going. So it's a perfect, perfect opportunity for me to take somebody like John, come out here and play an intense few matches, keep that competitive edge. And I think the practice will come in handy now in preparation for the clay. Well, Andre has said that McEnroe is the best player that he's ever seen play the game. That's a pretty big statement. Pretty big statement. Look what he's done. I mean, the guy, the guy's full of more talent in one hand than I think anybody that's played. For to get away with strokes like that, you make anybody in the world play like that, and they don't have a chance of playing college level. And he makes it work. It's a, uh, it's just a, it's a, it's actually a pleasure to watch it play. It's, it's beautiful to watch. Well, you're beautiful to watch. It was a fun match. We're going to get back up to Michael. Andre, thanks very much. It's awfully nice to have you back in L.A. Thank Good you. luck to you in the French. Thank you. Back to Mike. And we'll be back with more from the Great Western Forum and the Forum Tennis Challenge. Now you can draw the roundest circles, perfect straight lines in any direction, even complicated geometric patterns, perfect every time with the amazing rolling ruler. The secret tool of architects and draftsmen has two tire-like gripping rollers that keep the rolling ruler level as it speeds across your work. The special meter automatically indicates the distance between your lines. The rolling ruler makes professional-looking office forms, charts, graphs, school projects come alive. Do geometry and trig faster and easier. Craftspeople find it irresistible. Dress patterns can be altered to any size. The handyman will love the built-in protractor for perfect angles or make beautiful curves and long straight lines that go on and on. Call or send for Rolling Ruler right now. Simply insert your pencil into any hole and roll straight lines, parallel lines. Insert two pencils and roll curves, arcs, and circles instantly. Redecorate like a professional. Replan your lawn and garden to perfect scale. Get results you'll be proud of. Kids love it just for doodling. Call or send $12.98 to Rolling Ruler now. You'll also receive the amazing Pantograph. Copy your favorite photos, cartoons, or designs to any size in just minutes. Finish with the confidence of a real artist. You'll impress yourself. Call or send now. You get the rolling ruler and the amazing Pantograph for only $12.98. Order now. John McEnroe was 34. This could be, perhaps, his last forum appearance after losing to Agassi here tonight. Let's get some comments from Mac with Vic Brayton. Mac, you've been quoted uh, by Andre as being the best player in the history of the game, and you've got a lot to offer. 
What would you do for this country if you got a chance to really put it all together? Somebody gave you a free ticket. Well, that's, that's hard to say in a one, one or two minute interview, but ideally I'd like to try to develop some sort of academy in, in the New York area where I could work with kids uh, under the auspices of the USTA, but at this point with all the politics and in in, in within the USTA, I don't know if that's going to happen. And I think if I was captain of guy, guys such as Agassi, Curry, or Sampras in a Davis Cup type of setting, I think I could do more good. But if not, uh, if that doesn't happen, I'll just have to see what develops and see if I can work with... Uh, say a Nike or something and try to get something started. Right, you could start things on your own, could you not? Well, if I, if I, if I don't, you, you try to do it the, the way that uh, you, you supposedly should do it and work within the, the, uh, the USTA and the people that have been involved in tennis, but if they're going to uh, stick to an old, old school, then uh, hopefully I could try to get something started on my own. Well, Mac, Andre's got a little ways to go now. The French is about uh, just a few weeks away. What would you do for him to get him ready? I think that uh, I'd work a little bit with him on uh, on just uh, being a little bit more uh, ready to play in terms of uh, the physical aspect of it. I think that uh, guys like Courier and and a few other players work harder off on and off the court than he does, and he's extremely talented. I think it's like fine tuning a machine. I mean, he's a great player, and I think that uh, in order to be able to beat a guy like Curry at the French, he needs a little bit more, but uh, you know, those guys are no slouches either. Curry is playing great, Sampras has come on strong, and the, the rest of the crew. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what happens at the French and Wimbledon. It will be interesting, especially, John, if the day comes in when you have to play him and you're his coach. Anyway, we're going to be back with the wrap-up right after this. A whole lot of sports are headed your way in May. Tiger baseball comes on strong. 14 live games are featured on pass. It's a whole new ball game in Tiger Town when the Bengal bats get hot. Watch for games against the defending champion Blue Jays, Cal Ripken's Orioles, the Milwaukee Brewers, and Boston Red Sox. Look for live tennis on the clay court and along the ATP Tour, plus NCAA championships. Fast Track Thursdays are in full gear, featuring this week in NASCAR and Cycle World. Race fans won't want to miss a two-week countdown to Indy and Goody's Pole Day Races Live. Step onto the sand court for the Pro Beach Volleyball Tour, plus the hard spiking ladies of the Women's Tour. And in May, there's live NCAA lacrosse, Big Ten Track and Field Championships, and weekly Press Pass Trivia Monday nights on Press Row. A whole lot of sports are headed your way in May on Passports. The inside story starts here. From the greats of the game to current controversies, nobody covers the big stories in the big leagues like Ed Randall's Talking Baseball. Join Ed Randall for Talking Baseball Monday nights at 10 on Pass. Agassi won the first set 7-4 of the tiebreak, but then rolled to a three-love lead in the second and held on to win it 6-3 over John McEnroe. And let's take a look at the stats of tonight's match. Well, if you look at the serves, they are both having trouble on the serve. I think they're a little bit tired, but on the other side of the coin, they're having a little bit of fun, too. As Agassi said, you got to loosen up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So let's see, double faults, three apiece there, unforced errors, three more by Agassi. But and that's a lot, 37. Yeah, but look, look at the uh, total winners, though, for Agassi versus those for Mac. Well, Mac made a lot of unforced errors tonight. That's not his normal plan. But on the other side of the coin, I think he's kind of getting a good look at his student. Okay, we'll be back with our final comments from the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California. Announcing the stage event of a lifetime, the greatest story of all time. Jesus was his name. The Great Western Forum, Agassi won Wimbledon last year. They say it's easy to win Wimbledon the first time. It's even more difficult to repeat. Do you buy that, Vic Braden? Well, I think so, and especially with his style of game. But he's going to have to be much sharper than he is right now. So I don't know what's in the back of his mind. And as a psychologist, I would like to know because he could take a big dive or stay up there high. He could drop far. The players are hungry to 
get his lunch. Oh, there's no question about that. And he's just uh, 22, about to turn 23. So he really hasn't reached his peak, some say. Others say that he already has. So we'll find out more when he participates in the French Open. Okay, back with the final stats here and some comments after this. See 7663 over John McEnroe. Forum Tennis has been brought to you by Wells Fargo Bank. Now with stagecoach funds available at every Wells Fargo office. And by your Southern California Acura dealers. Experience luxury and performance. Test drive and Acura. Now this is Mike Walden for Vic Braden saying so long and good night from the Great Western Forum. Longer. He wants me to take care of things here. Walk about the house. You got a light, buddy? Yeah, sure, kid. There you go. And your wallet. Nick, give him your wallet. What for? He's got a knife. <laughs> Knife. That's a knife. Shit. Just kids having fun. You all right? I'm always all right when I'm with you, Dundee. God, that sounds corny. Why do you always make me feel like Jane in a Tarzan comic? Uh.